Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to this video, which is another weekly stash or trash. Today I have a few things to talk about as well as an update for you, so let's go ahead and get started. So we finally know what Milk has been teasing us with for the 420 release date, and here it is. Milk Makeup has released a new mascara, which they're calling their Kush Mascara, which they say contains CBD-rich cannabis oil to condition lashes for thickness without the fallout. And don't worry, there's no psychoactive THC, so the only thing getting high are your lashes. It claims to have heart-shaped fibers, which lock onto your lashes in every direction for long lasting volume and curl, as well as a puff puff brush, which is said to be densely packed, which will evenly coat and lift lashes from root to tip for a defined clump free effect. It is now available and the cost is $24. So what do we think about this? I actually, I'm starting to lean towards some of the comments I talked about last week on Stash or Trash, but there was quite the comment section underneath the post from Trend Mood, which is where I always get my information and I will always have her linked below in these videos. I, I just think it's inappropriate. Okay, I live in Colorado. I'm very open-minded about uh, marijuana. Let's just talk about that. But I think when you use it as a selling point for a mascara and talk about your lashes getting high um, and things like that, adults over the age of 21 who are legal to smoke marijuana in the states where it is legal for medical or recreational purposes are not the only people who are going to use this mascara. I may stash this at some point. I watched Jay Kissa's video the other day um, where she was trying out this mascara against her favorite Ciate London mascara. And it was very obvious because she had one on each eye. It was very obvious that this Kush mascara was very fluffy. It definitely lengthened her lashes. I mean, I thought right away, even before she did the wear test, that it looked better than her ride or die mascara from Ciate London on the other eye and it did wear well throughout her day from what we could tell. So I'm interested in this mascara. It is a little high priced at $24, but maybe it's something that I could pick up on a sale at Sephora, maybe in the fall when we have our 20% off VIB sale again. Um, we'll see, but I do think it's slightly inappropriate just how they are marketing this product. Hopefully that's not too controversial. I just thought it warranted, you know, addressing it a little bit. Next is a new release from Smashbox. So Smashbox is releasing a new cover shot palette. Um, I have not tried the Smashbox eyeshadow formula, nor have I tried any of the cover shot palettes. This is really, really beautiful. It has eight shadows in here, and I like the colors in this. There's a nice range of light, medium, and darker shades in my opinion. The swatches look beautiful. You know, I'm a sucker for a teal, and they have a teal in here. But also, I feel like the pinks in here look really pigmented um, and so I would definitely stash this at some point. I would love to know what you guys think of the Smashbox formula if you've ever tried it. I like to buy eyeshadow when I feel inspired by looking at a palette and this one absolutely inspires me. This one definitely screams spring and summer to me so I'm definitely interested in stashing it at this point but what do you think? Next is a new release from Wet n Wild. So, we don't have a lot of information just yet. This is a sneak peek from Wet n Wild and it is called Flights of Fancy. 
It is going to be limited edition, of course, and it's coming to us in summer of 2018, which is not very far away. Really, we just have a little glimpse into this collection. I am super excited to see something coming out from Wet n Wild. After the last couple of collections they've released, in, you know, including the Mermaid, the Gold Bar, the Hollow Gothic, or however that goes, um, I think that is, this looks more my speed. <laughs> um, I like bright colors. I like things that are unique. Um, we're seeing some tiny little swatches in there that appear to be different shades of pink. I do really like pink eyeshadows. So I'm intrigued by this. I will keep you guys updated, but I will say at this point, I'm interested and willing to stash this collection. Next is a new release from Fresh Beauty. I already had this on my list of things to talk about and then I saw Lauren May Beauty also talking about this release on her channel the other day and I am right there with her. I however have never tried anything from Fresh but it is on my wish list of brands that I would like to try. I am a lip balm junkie. I become anxious if I have nothing on my lips, if they are dry in any way. Um, and also, I'm a sucker for coconut. I love coconut scented products. Not all coconut scents are created equal, of course, but I'm hoping from a brand like Fresh that this is something um, that's going to have an authentic coconut scent, if that makes sense. It is available now online at Fresh Beauty. It is said to be a rich moisturizing lip treatment that smooths and comforts on contact while delivering a velvety sheen and addictive flavor inspired by coconut cream, which is even better. I love me a pina colada. So, um, definitely interested in this. My current reigning queen of lip balms, um, and this is um, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I don't just use this at night, I use it all day if I'm at home. Um, you get a huge amount of product in here for $20. Um, so I am definitely intrigued by this and will stash it at some point for sure. Next is a new release from Huda Beauty. <music> just now is a sneak peek but there are two new mini obsession eyeshadow palettes coming to us from Huda Beauty. I do have the Mauve Obsessions palette. I absolutely love this palette. You, know, you get a nice wide variety of colors in here. That's nice but I also think these are fantastic for traveling. You get nine colors in here. This is very sturdy packaging. Um, they're small so they don't take up a lot of room. I'm interested in getting the electric obsession I believe it's called the bright colored one but I want to see if I can dupe it out in my collection first before I spend my money. It says it's a sneak peek coming soon and that is all we know but I am very intrigued by these. I think the value is really really well for this uh, formulation of eyeshadows. They're really nice. They're pigmented. They're smooth. No fallout. Um, they're long lasting in my opinion. Um, so for $27, I think ni a nine pan is really a nice bang for your buck, especially given, um, you know, the packaging and everything that makes it really nice for traveling, if that makes sense. So I will keep you updated on this one because I'm very excited. Um, this is all I've tried from Huda Beauty, but I'm impressed. We have some new releases coming from Revlon. From the hashtag electric shock hashtag shoot the moon collection includes different products with a purple packaging 
including lipsticks, a lip powder palette, that's interesting, glosses, jelly highlighters, and more coming soon. So what do we think about this? Um, number one, as I've said in previous weeks when talking about drugstore items, I am so glad to see the drugstore um, you know, kicking up their game. It's really nice as a consumer to be able to stay on trend, whether you're able or wanting to buy high-end products or drugstore or affordable products. I don't think a person should be limited by the amount of money they choose or can spend on cosmetics in order to stay on trend with what's new in the makeup world. So I'm I'm really glad that Revlon has decided um, to put out this kind of a collection, whether or not it is my jam or not. I think the packaging is really beautiful and fun. The swatches look nice. Probably from this collection, I would be interested if they come out with an eyeshadow palette, which it doesn't say, it just says and more. Um, but the lipsticks look really pretty as well. I like the packaging. I like the fact that they are unique colors in sort of the purple family. Um, the lip glosses look pretty nice as well. One thing I am definitely going to trash from this collection is the jelly highlighter. That is just not my thing. I have seen other products like this as a viewer on YouTube and it just never seems to work out, particularly jelly blushes but it's just not my preferred way of highlighting my face. I generally prefer highlighter, like a powder highlighter rather. Um, so I'm definitely trashing these silly jelly highlighters. Um, but other than that, I'm interested in the rest. I find that the lip powder palette is very intriguing. I'm wondering just how they're going to market it, um, how it's meant to be used, things like that. Um, I don't generally use powders on my lips. Sometimes for taking photos for Instagram or other things, I will tap just a little bit of my Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the center of my bottom lip. And of course, I always have highlighter on my Cupid's bow. I think it looks nice. It gives some juiciness and dimension to the lips, especially for photographs, but it is a beautiful effect. So I will be interested to see how this is meant to be used. I would love to hear what you guys think about these new releases. Next, we have a new release from Juvia's Place and it's not an eyeshadow palette. So, new from Juvia's Place, foundation. And if you were wondering if they were gonna come out with an amazing shade range, they are. It says that they will have shades from the darkest complexions to the very light pale complexions and that it's coming soon. Also, Trend Mood has left us a US and UK free shipping code to use on the GDS Place website, which is Trend Mood 10% off. I will put that on the screen in case you would like to make an order. This is coming soon though, it's not available yet, but I th I'm guessing that's a code that you can use anytime from Trend Mood, and who doesn't want 10% off, I ask you. Um, but yeah, just from the pictures, we, we, you can see that we've got a nice range at least of dark colors, but they're saying they're going to be a wonderful range of colors, and I am all for inclusivity within brands. I realize not every brand, especially indie brands, can produce 50 shades from the get-go using, you know, when talking about foundation. But I do think however many shades that you put out, there should be a gradient from light to dark so that hopefully as many people as possible can find a shade that works for them. Um, so that's all I have to say about that. I will definitely keep you guys updated, but I'm excited to see something new from Juvia's Place. This again is a brand on my list of brands that I would like to try. I am very interested in their eyeshadows, of course. Um, I just haven't pinned it down yet to what will be my first palette to try. So if you have any recommendations for me, leave them below. Last is some more. <laughs> and some more, and some more new releases from ColourPop. So, I feel 
feel like it has literally been days since their butterfly collection came out. I know it's been a few weeks, but still a color pop is just popping them out one after the other. Um, and again, I'm kind of disappointed in this new release. We again are not going to have a palette. Again, we are going to get a whole bunch of bundles of super shock shadows. Super shock shadows. <laughs> I have one Super Shock Shadow and I don't use it. I like having the availability of it because it is a color that I can use for a one shadow look if I'm on the fly and wanna put a little something on. But in general, I'm not a fan of single eyeshadows. I certainly don't wanna start a collection of Super Shock Shadows no matter how gorgeous the colors are. I'm a huge fan um, now that I've tried the pressed formula from ColourPop. I got the Element of Surprise palette in my boxy charm this last month in April, and I love the formula, so please give us more palettes. Enough with the Super Shock Shadows, but that was my rant. Oh, let me tell you about the collection in case you're interested. They are going to have three Super Shock foursomes called Full Moon, Heavy Petal, and Walk the Vine. They're also going to have three new cheek duos, in the, sh in the colorways of coming up rose, thorn to be wild, and blossoms up. I love the names, I think that's super cute. And last, they're going to have two new lip trios, and they are named Just a Phase and Dime a Daisy. It is available now online at colorpop.com, and I am going to trash this entire collection. Looking at the swatches, looking at the pictures here, uh, it's nothing new. It's not really new. Does anybody else feel that way? Looking at the swatches from the shadow, the vine, full moon, and heavy petal look like 50 shades of beige. Um, so no, no lips. Again, we have a set of nudes and a set of pink. Uh, they don't look super exciting to me. The blush duos do look nice. Um, it looks like you get a highlighter and a blush in each set. Um, I think if I was going to pick one of the three, I would pick the Coming Up Roses. It looks to be the most appropriate for my skin tone. It has a nice dusty rose blush with a champagne-y looking highlighter, but I have those in my collection. In fact, I have them over and over again in my collection, so I don't need it. I'm just a little disillusioned with ColourPop right now. Like I said, I love the pressed formula, and I would like to see more of that. I think that's what's trending right now is eyeshadow palettes, not single eyeshadows. Um, but what do you guys think? Are you going to stash any of this? Because I'm going to trash this new release from ColourPop. I'm sorry. And that's it. That's all we have for this week. I will keep you updated as always on these new releases. I hope the lighting's better today. I did get a little ring light for my phone for recording, so I'm hoping that that works better for the lighting. And that's it. I hope all your makeup days are beautiful makeup days. Bye!